Okay, so let's put your math skills to work on solving this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. You finished one-fourth of a job on Monday and two-fifths more on Wednesday. How much of the job remains? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time, just so we're clear on the question. Uh, we finished one-fourth of a job on Monday, so clearly we didn't complete the job. Uh, but we did more work on Wednesday. Matter of fact, we did two-fifths more, but we are not finished. How much of the job remains? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is 7 over 20, or 7 twentieths. All right, so how did you do? Well, if you figure this out, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in solving math word problems that involve fractions. And that's basically what we have here. We have a problem that we're going to have to know how to add and subtract fractions. But there's another kind of twist to this problem. We have to understand what we call work or job problems in mathematics. So this is not that difficult. And if you didn't get this right, don't despair. Uh, by the time you finish this video, you'll be a certified expert as well. All right, let's go ahead and get into this problem. And the first thing we will always want to do when we're dealing with any math word problem is to use the rule of three which is to read the prompt at least three times before you do anything. And we want to make sure we understand the question. So the question is, how much of the job remains? And obviously, we did some amount of work, one-fourth of this work of, um, on a particular job on Monday. And then on Wednesday, we did two-fifths more. So how much of this job remains? Well, we need to understand a job or work, uh, the concept of a job or uh, work, full work, a full amount of work in mathematics. Let's go ahead and take a look at this right now because this could confuse some people, but uh, it's not that difficult. So when you complete a full job or a full task, okay, but in other words, you're going to do some work to complete a full uh, work, right? A full a job, if you will. So hey, clean your room. Don't clean half of your room. Clean all of your room or make your bed, make the total bed. So a uh, work job or work problems, excuse me, or job problems in mathematics, you always want to think of a full completed task as one. That's going to be a unit of, we'll represent that by the number one. So let's take a look at some examples here. If you did half uh, a job, right? So here's a, a particular job you were assigned to do and you did half of the work, okay, well, how much of that job remains? Well, it's going to be one minus one half or one half remains. Now, if you did the full job, okay, you know, well, how much remains? Zero remains, so basically it's gonna be one minus one. So basically one, okay, the total amount of that uh, job or that unit of work is one to complete that task. So now that you understand this, what we have to do is kind of model this problem, all right? And uh, there's different ways you can approach it, but let me show you what I did to kind of represent what's going on. Okay, so here we have our kind of weekly calendar laid out. And on Monday, okay, we did one fourth of job. Basically, let's go back to the problem. So on uh, Monday, we finished, okay, one fourth of a job. And then on Wednesday, okay, we did two fifths more. So I'm just putting this on a weekly calendar. So on Monday, we did one fourth of a job. And then on uh, Wednesday, we did two fifths more. So on Tuesday, okay, so on Wednesday, we did two fifths more. But on Tuesday, right here, before Wednesday, how much was, how much, uh, uh, was remaining in this particular job. Okay, in other words, how much more do we have to do to get this job done? Well, remember, 
We did a fraction, a portion of this job on Monday. So a full job, a full unit of uh, work is one, okay? So what we're gonna do is just take this one fourth and subtract it uh, from one. So one minus three four, uh, one, one minus one fourth, excuse me, is three fourths more work to do. So on Tuesday right here, we have three fourths more to go. So hopefully this is you know pretty much common sense um, for most of you out there. Like, yes, yes, I understand this, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, if you understand this, okay, on Tuesday, we still have three fourths uh, remaining. Well, then on Wednesday, you did more work. So what do we need to do here to figure out how much um, remains? Well, what we need to do is subtract some fractions. All right, so on Tuesday again, so here's Tuesday, we have three fourths remaining. Okay, but on Wednesday, we decided we wanted to do a little bit more work and we did two fifths more. So how much remains? Well, it's a pretty straightforward problem. It's going to be three fourths minus two fifths. Okay, we're gonna take away this amount for how much remains right here. Okay, we did more work. This is how much remains. So three fourths minus two fifths is um, basically um, how we get to the solution. And of course, the answer is seven over 20. But let's just quickly review how to subtract fractions for those of you that may have forgotten. So here we got, uh, here we have three fourths minus two fifths. But remember, when you add and subtract fractions, you have to have these bottom numbers, the denominators, the same. So what is the uh, the same denominator? Well, that concept is called the lowest common denominator. So the, in this particular case, the LCD is 20. Okay, so we're going to change both of these fractions such that the denominators are 20. And let me give you a quick suggestion on uh, fractions. If you're struggling with fractions, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel about everything fractions. Also, I have um, multiple courses that you can check out. You'll see the links to those in the description below. Um, I would probably suggest my Math Foundations course for those of you that want to review basic mathematics. I'll tell you another uh, course before we uh, finish this video. But uh, anyways, I just want to bring this up just in case some of you don't understand what's going on here. All right, so what we have to do is change these fractions such that the denominators are 20. So we're gonna multiply this um, denominator, this four by five, because if we do that, we get 20 and that's what we need. So if we uh, multiply the denominator by five, we also have to multiply the numerator by five. So we're gonna have 15 over 20, that's this fraction. And in this particular fraction, we have to multiply the denominator by four to get 20 but we also have to multiply the numerator by four. So we have eight over 20. And then when you have the same denominators, all we need to do is uh, subtract the respective numerator. So 15 minus eight is seven or seven over 20. Okay, so um, how can we check our work here? Now, everything seems pretty good, but let's say we wanted to kind of verify that in fact, this is the actual amount that remains. Well, we can take this step, and let me go ahead and show you that right now, which of course is having you first subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to support my work, uh, you know, basically my channel is all about trying to help as many people as possible in mathematics. The only way I could do that is to have people say, you know what, I don't mind listening to this guy blab about math. And by you subscribing, I look at that as I gained a new student, okay? But this really does help that algorithm uh, push out my material to people that can really benefit from my instruction. But uh, anyways, if you don't mind, uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, you might as well hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this um, answer. So on Monday, if we did one-fourth of a job on Monday, and then Wednesday we did two-fifths more, and then let's say on Friday we did the remaining amount, which we calculated as 7 over 20, did we complete the full task or in other words was 7 over 20 the actual amount that remained after completing 1 fourth and 2 fifths well uh, basically uh, this is um, actually the amount that uh, remains if all of these portions of this job or work add up to 1 so let's go ahead and add up these fractions 1 fourth plus 2 fifths plus 7 over 20 let's see if these um, indeed add up to 1 or 1 complete full uh, job or task. And of course, we can see here we have 4, 5, and 20 as the denominators. The LCD is 20. So I'm going to rewrite each of these uh, uh, two uh, fractions such that their um, denominators are 20 because this already has 
a denominator 20, and you can see here we have 5 over 20 plus 8 over 20 plus 7 over 20. So we have 20 as a common denominator, lowest common denominator. So 15 plus 8 plus 7, again we're adding fractions, uh, we have the same denominator. 15 plus 8 plus 7 is indeed 20. 20 divided by 20 is 1. So this works out. Okay, so this is a pretty basic uh, example of a math word problem that involves work or a job, a unit of time. Very common type of problems, but these get far more interesting, especially in algebra. But uh, hopefully this is a nice uh, kind of basic, basic introduction uh, to some of these concepts. And if you are um, a math student, you're certainly going to be facing word problems that involve uh, work and um, it, uh, jobs, work, task, etc. things like that. Just kind of remember some of these basic things that we talked about in this video, and you should be A-OK. -okay. Now, uh, for getting kind of back to some of you that want to improve your math skills and, uh, and to include basic mathematics, I just launched a new course. It's called my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You'll find a link to it in the description below. But in that particular course, I teach you all basic math, fractions, percent, order of operations, but then I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of uh, geometry, uh, some basic trigonometry, and even some probability and statistics. So if you're just interested in kind of um, interested in relearning all that math that you've maybe uh, forgot, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, that is the perfect self-paced course for you. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.